What's up everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel and of course I am really very happy to see you back here. But anyways, before we get started with this video, consider hitting the subscribe button, right? Hit that like button to subscribe. Look at this dude. And of course I'll be so so grateful. But anyways, as you you already seen from as you've already seen from the thumbnail, of course we are going to talk about Forex this time around, yeah? So I'm going to show you how I learned Forex and what people talk about first and yet it's the th sad truth i really don't know what's, uh, what's going on i don't know whether people don't want us to master this thing but anyways i'm going to show you how it it's very easy to master forex and how you can make money out of this forex trading yeah but anyways let's get started with this video so here's the deal guys the information laid in this video is just for educational purposes. That's the disclaimer. So, uh, forex trading is basically the exchange of currencies, right? That's simple. But anyways, in this forex trading, we are looking uh, at uh, doing it online, right? We want to make profits. No one wants to make a loss, but the majority of the traders lose their money and end up quitting. So you don't need to be part of this because uh, when I was getting started, I really blew various accounts and I was alone in my trading career. I had no person to talk to. I was literally alone, right? But uh, yeah, you, you can feel like giving up, right? I blew accounts, various accounts because I had no money to even invest. So I would simply get some debts from other people and invest in my trading account. But yeah, here's the truth. Forex is simple, right? But it needs time at first. You need to first learn and start learning, right? So uh, you simply have to, to to watch YouTube videos because I started with YouTube videos. Then after that, I discovered Baby Pips. Baby Pips is a, is a it's a website where you can easily acquire any education about forex trading that you want. So I did Baby Pips and. Uh, uh, at the end of it all, I later got a mentor, but that's not necessary. If you don't have money, you don't need to go for a mentor. But anyways, so that's how simple it is. Yeah, it took me three months of grinding because I was literally obsessed. Yeah, I wanted to learn how to trade because I had no work, I had no work, and that was out of high school. So I took it took me three months to master forex. Yeah, so. Uh, in the three months I started with, uh, uh, the first month I was literally doing YouTube videos. I watched YouTube videos of various people on YouTube. Uh, so, after the f uh, so after the first month, uh, I had to go for baby pips, yeah? So, uh, by the way, within the, uh, the second month, I started some demo trading. So, I did demo trading for two weeks and uh, yeah, for the, for the other two weeks, I thought I had the confidence, so I started live trading, imagine that. <laughs> so I started my live trading, but I was scared to deposit too much money, and perhaps I didn't have that much money. <laughs> so uh, I would only deposit a small arm, but I can't tell. I really blew accounts, bro. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not scaring you. That's the truth of the matter. You have to first learn and earn. And learning is simple. It simply needs dedication. Dedicate all your time, your efforts until you really master this thing here. So uh, I did. I tried first because that's, that, that was my only option. So in any case, I really wanted to learn. So I really learned. But anyways, here is the thing. So if you want to master forex, you simply have to grind, okay? Give all your time to learn, learn, yeah? Master your emotions, master your strategy, right? So uh, at first, I really messed up with various strategies because I will try out this, make various losses and quit. You get, you, you know that feeling. I know most of you guys must be expressing this, but don't be scared, don't be scared. So. Uh, I really switched strategies like for real man, <laughs> switching completely but uh, I, re I later discovered that you really have to get a strategy and stick to that, right? You have to, to stick to that strategy if it has a higher winning rate, right? So that's, that's the point number one, stick to your strategy, right? So 
when you stick to your strategy, the point is by the end of it all, it will win, yeah? The prob your probability of winning will be higher than losing. Because forex trading is all about probabilities. If you can't accept losses, then it's hard to really master forex. And by the way, that, that was the biggest problem that I struggled with. I thought for every trade I bless it would be a winning trade. And bro, it wasn't awesome. Unless you accept a loss in forex trading, you can't be perfect for real. And here's another thing. So you also need to consider risk management. Yeah, you know, forex trading is very awesome. When you do high risk, when you risk much, you earn big or you lose big. You can easily blow out your account. And that that's that's the major cause that led to me blowing more accounts. I would risk too much like excitement, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> So you don't have to risk too much because uh, uh, the, the best principle is to risk only 1% or 3% of your trading amount, right? You simply have to risk 1% so you can use a 1 to 3 risk, risk to reward ratio. So when you lose, you will lose less. So when you make profits, the profits will cover the loss, right? So that's another thing. You have to risk less, okay? so. The other point is get a mentor or get a group to work with. You know, forex trading is better if you are in a group. You know, sometimes you will have a streak of losing trades and you will feel discouraged, like discouraged, literally like you feel like quitting. So if you have friends on your side, they will comfort you, right? They will inform you how everything goes here so you will get back to the zone right so you don't have to do this thing alone right get a friend work with that person or as a team right and that's why we sometimes recommend getting mentors right so you have to get a a team to work with to get a team okay so you simply have to work with the with that team uh even in the bad times right you have made various losses and you simply have to keep on grinding right so uh you really have to have a team to work with okay so here's another point read books <laughs> you know uh, a fair study is practical but you also need to read books i really recommend reading one of these books it's it's called trading in the zone it's done by mark douglas it's a very important book and it helped me become a profitable trader you know, you know uh, it's all about the psychology and and by the way in forex trading uh, emotions your emotions are too too important right so if you can't be patient or if you get emotions you have too much fear you have fear of missing out that's that's the biggest part so if you can read that book you will really know how a trader has has to behave yeah uh whenever you are in the market right yeah place a trade and you have to be patient okay to wait for it to ride into you you, you to write you take profit or if it's against you adhere to that to the market don't don't try to force things okay you can easily cut your loss oh let it run and blow your account but anyways that's not fine so your emotions are very important so that's why i recommend that book it's called trading in the zone forex trading is so funny that whenever most of us discover that it even happens we start getting the wildest dreams you know what i'm saying I need I now need that Lamborghini, I need that luxuries, you know what I'm saying? So but the fact is that's 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 affordable with very trading, that's affordable doing your own thing. But the first thing is learn and master the thing. Because I personally when I was getting to this thing, yeah, I was so so ambitious, but I lost all the pressure at the beginning because I lost money. <laughs> you know, I had no money, but I really lost money. So at first I deposited 50 USD and that wasn't money. Yeah, I was kind of depositing too much money, lost that. So generally, you really have to 
reduce your pressures, okay? Reduce your ambitions, learn first, and all those things will come later on, right? So, and so you guys, if you consider this information so important, please consider hitting the subscribe button, and of course, you know, it's free. So, it will help this channel grow, and of course, I'll keep posting valuable content to this channel and of course in the future i will post a video of uh, my trading strategy that helped me become a profitable trader yeah? it's for beginners because i please consider hitting the subscribe button and of